guys! Welcome to another video with me, Amy, and A to Z Yoga. Today's video is about trying to get your weight off of your feet, which seems weird because we're going to do lots of things on our feet, but we're going to try and do it on one leg. So it actually works your uh, outer supporting muscles, which helps to hold you in and up, which basically takes the weight off of your feet and makes you feel a lot lighter. So it's perfect for any time that you're feeling a little bit sluggish or a little bit tired. It's quite an energizing class, actually. So all you're going to need if you're pregnant is a whole bunch of cushions or a bolster, something that will lift your upper body up slightly and a chair and your mat. And that's it. I'll see you back here in a minute. So you're going to begin lying down on your back with your feet up on a chair, your legs at a 90 degree angle. If you're pregnant, you can put cushions underneath you so that you're lifting your upper body up slightly. And then I want you to just right, really try to relax your pelvis into the floor. Relax your feet into the chair and start to just breathe really nice and deeply through the nose, breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. And see if you can start to let that breath get a little bit deeper. So it begins to move more into the back of the throat. And you start to get this kind of ujjayi breath going, the yoga breath going, that's almost on the cusp of a snore. So it's a really deep breath. And then you're going to take your hands onto your legs, start pushing into your right leg and slowly bring the right leg off the chair. Then push into the left leg, bring the left leg off the chair. Do this one at a time. And as you're bringing the leg off and you're pushing the hand into the leg, you're really dragging that leg down into the socket. Keep swapping and see if each time you can get the hip of the leg that's coming off the chair to sink deeper into the ground. Then take your hands to the outside of your legs, slide the legs in towards you, push your hands into the legs, the legs into the hands, and then just hover the feet off the chair for a moment. And then let them come back. Again, bring your hands to your thighs and start to lift your pubic bone up and down gently off the floor as you push down into your heels and towards you with your heels. So as you're lifting your pelvis, it's like you're sliding your hands up your legs without moving them, which is going to help you find a little extra length in the lower back and a little more work in the glutes. Try not to let your feet slide forwards or your body slide backwards. Really get that length to come from the lower back. It doesn't have to be very high. Just a couple more. And then nice and gently, take the right leg off the chair. The right hand comes to the, the, the uh, leg just to feel it. Straighten that leg up and then rotate from the ankle, pointing the foot and flexing the foot as you rotate. So you're just releasing the ankle. Don't worry about any clicks or clonks. Do the same on the left leg, left hand on the left thigh, then straighten the leg up to the ceiling. And again, rotate that foot from the ankle, pointing and flexing the foot as you go. And then bring the leg down. Then you're going to take that right leg off the chair again and just internally and externally rotate the leg from the hip in the socket. So you're not moving the pelvis, you're literally just moving the leg in and out. Same on the left side, rotating it internally and externally. So we're just oiling up the hip joints. Then take your hands up to the ceiling, link your fingers and push your hands 
palms up to the ceiling and then push your arms up and overhead from your shoulder blades. Swap the fingers around and you're going to do that twice again. Try and really get the lift of the arms to come from the shoulder blades. So it's like the shoulder blades go up to the ceiling and then up to your ears. That stops your ribs from being the thing that lifts the arms. And then arms down by your sides. And then we're going to come over. You can move the cushions to the side. and just move the chair slightly out of the way. But keep it nearby because we're going to use it at the end. So coming onto all fours with your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips and your head in line with your spine, just tuck your toes under and gently rock yourself forwards and backwards. So you're taking a little more weight into the toes and thereby stretching the back of the feet and even stretching the back of the ankles. This is really uh, lovely for people who have things like plantar fasciitis or even just general um, pain in the toes and feet. It's just good to get that flexibility coming into the toes and the back of the feet. Again, don't worry if you get clicking or things like that in the knees. Just focus on getting that stretch in the feet. Then flatten the feet and then bring yourself back so you're coming to sit on your heels. Take your hands to the outside of your ankles and just gently hug the ankles in towards each other so you keep the ankles active. And then you're going to take your arms into a cactus position and windmill the arms round, kind of like a, a backstroke. Keep the pelvis nice and steady. Just try and move from the ribs and the shoulder blades. Keep that gentle squeezing of the ankles as well. And then come off of the feet, tuck the toes under again, and again come and sit back on your heels. If you need a cushion underneath your heels so that you have a little lift off the knees, that's fine. And then they're going to do the same thing again, but try and lead with the other arm. So this time I led with my left arm. <clears throat> and then come back to all fours, flatten your feet, and then lift your right leg without moving your pelvis and internally and externally rotate the leg in the socket again. Then push down into the right foot, lift the left leg. Do the same thing on that side. Bring the left leg down. Then take the right leg back up. Don't move the pelvis, just stretch the leg out. And bring that foot forwards to the outside of your right hand. And then lift your upper body. Now start squeezing your legs towards each other so the back hip comes forwards, front hip comes backwards and you feel that opening in the front of the back hip. Then elbows into the sides of your waist, lift your arms straight up with the palms facing the back of the room and again try and lift from your shoulder blades. Now as you squeeze the legs together you find that length, then lean forwards, reach back for your left foot and bring it in towards your bum. Keep hugging the legs towards each other and try and lift out of your left knee rather than digging down into it. And then bring that foot down, place your hands down, bring the right leg back again. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So take the left leg out, lift it without moving your pelvis, and then take the foot to the outside of the hand. Lift the upper body and again squeeze the legs towards each other. Get that to bring the back hip forwards, front hip back. And then elbows into the sides of the waist. Inhale, stretch your arms up, lifting from the shoulder blades. And find that length right from the back hip all the way up to your fingertips. 
and then take your hands to your leg, grab a hold of your right foot, and again, try and lift out of your right knee. You wanna try and keep the right hip stacked on top of the knee rather than leaning forwards too much. So that allows you to pull the weight away from the kneecap. And then relax that foot down, take that leg back and come back to all fours again. Tuck your toes under, push into your hands and lift up into down dog. Keep your knees bent and focus on keeping the hips in a really nice hinged position. And then you're just gonna lift up and down off of the heels. As you're lifting up and down off the heels, you're trying not to change the position of your, of your pelvis. This is really just to lengthen the back of the ankles and the back of the calves and to help you find the hinged position of your pelvis. Then lift your right leg and externally and internally rotate that leg again in the socket without moving the pelvis. Keep pushing down into the left big toe mound as you're doing it. Step the right foot forwards as far as you can get it. And then take your hands to your lower back. Press into your right foot and bring that left knee up to your chest. Push down into the right big toe mound. Take your left hand to your left thigh and push the two together. And then externally rotate the left leg, bringing the left foot onto the right thigh. Sit back from your hips. Squeeze your hands together in a prayer position at your chest so it opens your chest up. And try and hold yourself there. And then nice and gently come out of it, stepping that foot out to the back into a goddess position. Inhale your arms up to the ceiling and then lift the heels up and down. As you lift the heels up and down, try and keep the lift coming through the hips, th through the sides of the waist and this buoyancy in your pelvis. Then turn back to lunge at the front of the mat. Take it back to all fours, tucking the toes under, come back to down dog. And you're going to do the same thing again. So you're going to really find that lift in the hips and then just lift the heels up and down. Don't change the position of your pelvis as you do this. Lift the left leg, bend the left knee, and again, externally and internally rotate that leg without moving the pelvis. And then step the foot forwards as far as you can. Take your hands again to your lower back, push into the left big toe mound, and bring that right knee forwards up to the chest. Keep pushing into the left big toe mound, place the right hand on the thigh and push the two together. Let that lift you up a little taller, then externally rotate the right leg, bring that foot onto the front of the left thigh and sit back at your hip crease. Push your hands together in a prayer position and hold it there. Slowly bring yourself out of it and step that foot back, again coming back to a goddess position. Feet and knees turned out. Inhale and lift the arms straight up, sit into that kind of squatted position, and this time just lift one heel at a time. Try not to change the position of the pelvis, so your pelvis isn't bobbing up and down, it's just your feet. Turn back to lunge at the front of the mat. Bring the foot back, tuck the toes under, and again, you're going to bring yourself back to down dog. See if you can get even more height in the hips this time. Maybe a bit more length through the legs and the back. Hold it there, take a big breath. And then you're going to step one foot forwards at a time. Bring yourself up to stand. and walk the feet to hip distance apart, if they aren't already. Then inhale, reach up through the sides of the waist, lift right up onto your toes, and try and feel that lift coming up right through the center of the body. It's like you're lifting from your pelvic floor all the way up onto your toes. And then you're going to step it towards the chair. We're going to use the chair now. Take your hands onto the chair and walk yourself back into a downward facing dog at the chair. Try and get that same hinged position in the hips, length in the waist, 
push your hands into the chair and then step the right foot forwards. Just get a little push down into the left heel. And then you're going to take your hands further forwards on the chair, bring your weight into your right foot and then dial your right foot out, bring your right elbow down onto the chair and open your left hip up towards the ceiling. Try and keep the length in the right side of your waist. Then bring that foot back, step it back to down dog at the chair. Push back through your hips, keep your knees bent, then step the left foot forwards. Push into that left foot, take the weight into the left foot, and again take your left elbow down onto the chair. Dial your left foot out as you open your right hip up onto to the ceiling, like it's coming on top of your left hip. Try and keep the length in the left side of your waist. And then take the foot back. Turn yourself around now and come and sit on the chair. Right on the edge so you can sit upright. And then press your hands into your thighs, especially your right one, and lift the right foot off the floor for a moment. Take the hand off the leg and externally rotate that leg. Push the left hand into the left leg, lift the left leg. Take that hand off the leg and externally rotate that leg. And bring that foot down. Then just lift the heels up and down. Kind of like you're getting a little rocking motion in the feet. You're then going to crawl your feet back. Each time you lift your heel, crawl it back. Lift the heel again, crawl it back. And then crawl it forwards. Lift the heel, crawl it forwards, lift the heel. So we're just working into the feet a little bit more. Step your feet back. Lift yourself off the chair and come back down to the ground. Grab your cushions again if you're pregnant, or maybe even if you're not, go for it. Why not? It's comfy. But if you're pregnant, you want lots of cushions, so you've got lots of stacking. Turn yourself around and you kind of come and bring yourself pretty much back to the same position that you started in. Relax the pelvis. And you can either stay in this position with the legs parallel, or if you feel like it, bring the heels towards each other, kind of like a frog leg position. Just to let the outer edge of the heels and the ankles relax into the edge of the chair and let the knees open and relax. Let the hips relax. Once you've found a comfortable position, Start to take your focus to your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Follow that breath all the way down into the belly. Feel the gentle rising and falling of the belly as you breathe. On every breath, feel your body sink deeper into the ground. Your legs relax a little further. Your ribs and shoulders relax a little more. Your head gets heavier. And your breath gets deeper. Any time any thoughts come into your mind, just set them aside and come back to focusing on your breath. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the class. I know it was a little bit of a different uh, setup. 
because obviously I wasn't talking as I was doing this time. Um, I will be back to that once I have had my baby and can move and talk at the same time. But I hope you still enjoyed the class. If you did, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Namaste.